Good morning, Church. My name is Matlo Ndwandwe. I reside in St. Juron. Um, my testimony goes like this. A few years ago, I registered for Master in Computing. So, um, around June, it was a few months uh, that I've submitted to the examiners. So, I was a little bit worried because the lady that, um, both of us actually, we report to the same supervisor, she got her feedback that she has passed. So knowing the challenges in my life, so I'm like, mm, I know maybe it's a battle for me. So this other time when we had the all night prayer and prophet said um, he wants to prophesy for people, then I quickly wrote down on a paper, research paper. Then um, he located me, then he said to me, um, I see three people, they are busy with your, your paper. And I knew that um, he's actually telling the truth because it's been submitted to the examiners. So he said to me, okay, um, please come on Sunday, pass through the messy land. Because it's three people, maybe, I don't know, you can pay three rand, 30 rand, 300 rand or whatever, but it's, uh, as long as it's for three. So I did that and then um, the following week, I think it was on Wednesday, I got a call from my supervisor he was congratulating me, telling me that I've passed my master. Then he will send me the feedback from the, um, from the examiners. Usually what is happening is that um, you, pass, they, 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 you pass your exam, then after they just give you their comments, you just have to work on that. And my journal also, which I submitted, I think it was last year in December, it's also published by an international company. So my supervisor was very excited because I was taking it very lightly. Then he told me that no, it's actually a big thing in the academia because I'm in, a, in another sector, not in the academic sector. So I'm here to glorify God and for what he has done in my life. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, what was going on in your mind as you were waiting for your results? Ah, okay, I think another thing maybe uh, that challenges most of us is our past experiences. Uh, previously, I had, before I came to Shakaina in 2013, I had a problem. I registered at one of the leadership uh, institution. So for some reason, my mind was disturbed. I never finished the program. I paid for nothing. So I was a little bit, and even throughout my journey for this master, there have been challenges. Sometimes I will send out my staff, they have not received them. And I remember even this other time at work, when I was, about, when I was just about to submit my work, all of a sudden the network at work went down. And I think I was left with 30 minutes to submit. So fortunately I was helped by one of my colleagues, and he had his uh, wireless device. So it's been a lot of challenges, so I was like, let me just bring it to God, uh, to the man of God, so that he can tell me what is actually happening. I was not okay, because we've been, I communicate with uh, this um, colleague of mine, I'll say she's a colleague, because both of us, we are reporting to the same supervisor, she got hers, and I didn't got mine. So I was not really that happy. And how do you feel now that the Lord has answered your prayers? Ah, I'm so excited. I don't even know what to say, but I thank God because um, I will be graduating in September. And the most nice thing is that um, out of all the people that I, I registered with, I was one of the people that my, uh, my journal is there. So anyone who's doing their research about um, smart learning technologies, they can actually cite my, my journal. Amen. Ma'am, can you please leave us with a word of advice? Um, the word of advice that I have is that we must trust in the Lord and not on our own understanding. And um, one thing that I learned since I've been in this church is that uh, we must always trust God and do whatever that we are instructed by uh, prophet and we must never cease praying whether prophet is not in, in the church or not. We must always pray 
because everything comes from God. So that is my word of advice and also hold on to God. Amen. Ma'am, thank you for your wonderful testimony and we believe greater blessings shall follow you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen.